and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Pike and Shot mod. So, as per your suggestions, another of your favourite suggestions, I should say, was the Netherlands versus Spain. So that is what we're looking at right now. So I'm in command of the Dutch, and we have gone ahead in a raid our army as following. As you can see, we've got cannons in the centre, few pikes here and there, some cavalry, and on the other side the Spanish are gonna march over. I think we'll just go ahead and start, and as they march over we'll take a look at what the units I have deployed. I'm gonna start off from the left, where we've got one demi cannon, which is situated right here. Um, then we've got one carabinier unit, ready to uh, ride around and you know, harass the enemy, shoot at them. Then, we got the Guard Arquebusiers, which can be seen right here. And then next up, we've got the Musketeers of the Vendel Regiment, backed up by a unit of medium pikemen. Next to them, we've got a line infantry unit. And next to that one, yet another line infantry unit. And then we got to the center of uh, the battle line, where we got two of these demi cannons, backed up by a unit of heavy swordmen. And as you can see, these guys are very heavily clad in armor, so some really strong troopers right there. As we continue, over to the next side, we've got Dutch Marines. Followed by another Dutch Marine. Followed by the Governor's Guard Musketeers. Which you can see right here. Backed up by medium pikemen. And then it's another one, Governor's Guard. Backed up by yet another medium pikemen. And furthest out here, we've got Carabiniers. Now up in front, in front of the main battle line, we've got heavy pikes. So I'm hoping that the Spanish will get stuck on these formations, similar to what we saw the Ottoman happen to the Ottoman. And so they will get stuck on these, and I will be able to use the superior accuracy of the Dutch Musketeers against the Spanish troops. Cannon fire has already started, but um, not entirely sure what they're shooting at because the Spanish are not even yet to be seen crossing the hill. I'm about to see here if my cavalry is able to harass the Spanish troops as they move up on their side of the hill. I've moved the carabiniers over to the flank with good visibility on the sword and battle men moving up over there. Now, we didn't kill that many, but we did kill some. Enough for them to actually possibly divert from their main plan of attack. Now the Spanish are actually being seen. We should tell the cannons to fire at will. Let's see, can we get another volley? Very nice. But we're gonna move over to this side and harass them from over there. Now we do have... Spanish cavalry moving across. Just broke down that big house and cannonballs bouncing through the cuirassier formation is kind of halting it. Give it I, I was gonna hold these guys, hold their fire to see if the um, the enemy cuirassiers were gonna make a charge. But looks like that is not happening. They're very heavily armored. Let's go ahead and move the medium pikes. Just in case. 
Now my Dutch troops are... It's actually the cannons that are really making mincemeat out of the... The, uh, the cavalry. Alright, we're continuing to harass them over here. Now the Spanish have sent in their cavalry. So just good enough time for me to... Bit by bit pull back here. Towards the main line. They do hold on though. Let's make sure that they, uh, that we force them away. I'm gonna move up my carabiniers as close as I dare. And then we're gonna fire into the flank. Now I do think it's time for the cannons to switch targets to see if we can actually hit some of these formations. Right, they're finally making their attempt on the Pike Square and it fails pretty miserably. I'm gonna move the Carabiniers over into the woods. Now given where the Spanish are going we might actually want to move some of these medium pikes over to this side and kind of concentrate our firepower right there. These guys are actually turning towards us. The Carabiniers, I mean, their accuracy is pretty shit to begin with. Firing into the woods, I doubt they'll even... Uh, there's no point in wasting the powder, as to say. Right, we should actually concentrate cannon shots going in right there. Because you can see, if it bounces through here, it'll bounce through three units, as we can see. The cannon shots are tearing up the Spanish formations, as they're uh, very compact in this area. But yet again, you can see how I've actually overstretched my lines, similar to what I've done in previous battles. So already now, we're going to go ahead and contract a little bit as to be able to lay the full firepower onto them. Let's have our cavalry move forward. Now this cannon is out of line with the rest of the line. But um, given that they're, they don't kill that many to begin with, I don't think we have to worry that much. Now there is melee units going this way and those definitely need to be stopped. I'm thinking these units going that way will actually be stopped by uh, this square right here. But I want to make sure that these hold right here. And we do lack a bit of melee units compared to the Spanish. For the 24 pounders I had in the previous battle I did, the... Um, Their canister was pathetic. I'm wondering if this... Oh. The range is awful. Right, we are... We are producing... A lot of noise. Oh, we can match that with actually killing some people. Got a Spanish pike formation closing in on our square. We are trading a bit of fire with this unit right here. I'm going to move forward with the cavalry. Right, they're, they're moving in on the square. Our cannon shots are bouncing through the big Spanish formations. Is the cavalry making an attack towards uh, the line? They are. Forward the pikes. I'm also going to throw in the carabiniers here. Right, we do have a heavy Brussels guard. These are all gunners, so the heavy swordmen are going to attack over there. And then I'm going to throw in these units over here. Have the pikes move in. The Dutch marines 
are in danger here. They're going to have to pull back. We're going to move those forward. Cavalry is being sent off. Am I being... I think I'm getting hit by my own units. Cavalry will swing around. We've got the guard arquebusiers. They need to be moved into a proper flank there. And the units, the musket units, need to be pulled out of the fight so that they can actually fire at the enemy. Right. My heavy square is not doing too well. I'll be sending over the general. I'm sending in my pikes here. Wonderful volley by the governor's musketeers. Right. Rally and uh, inspire. Looks like that got got them going again. But kind of just enough to get them all killed, it seems. Right. So we'll bounce some cannon shots through there. Clearly the heavy infantry of the Spanish is too much for my troops. I'm going to order a cavalry charge, see if that helps. My cavalry was sent away by the heavy cavalry of the Spanish. It's not looking good right now for the Dutch, I must say that. It does look like a spectacular battle. Unfortunately, it's very much in favor of the enemy. To give me a little bit of a better score here at the end, I'm going to go ahead and send cavalry to deal with those cannons. Clearly, we did not have enough heavy infantry to deal with all the Spanish troops. The general is holding on with his troops. Let's reposition the governor's guards. But them on their own is not really enough to go ahead and stop them. More and more units are breaking apart. We've got pike unit coming back. We'll regroup it over here. The uh, musketeers of the line infantry will be falling back. Our men are running. The cannons will continue their fight or their struggle. Oh, there's no... The general should not be engaged there. It's sword and, buckler man, sword and buckler man. So it's not that bad, but it's still bad, right? Medium pikemen set up here. And then the Dutch musketeers need to pull back yet again. General setting up. I do have my heavy... Uh, Infantry right there, now firing, or fighting with the general. We're rallying troops. But it's not looking good. My heavy pikes actually were successful over here. I'll form them into square just before the reformed cavalry. Get back on the guns, if you please. My heavy swordmen actually kind of won that fight a little bit but they do need Our support right hit that one in the flank continuous attacks of the uh, Spanish sword and bucklerman is uh, well, doing wonders on our lines As long as I can rally my troops, put them back in the fight, drop the square and attack them. One of our units has used all its no, back into square because you're now being attacked by the 
the enemy cavalry. What's this? Enemy general was killed. Right, charge the guns. Move to the side. You're actually being fired upon by the Dutch Marines right by behind you. Go on. Keep up the fire. The swordman working through the guard unit. And my cavalry is dealing with the cannons. Unfortunately, our cannons were overrun over here. Make as long a line as possible to be able to produce as much fire as possible. Ah, uh, we're out of shot there. We should concentrate then, move all our troops over to One this side. We might be able to uh, chop the enemy into submission over here. That pike formation isn't going to be broken though, so... Musketeers back. The general was... Yes, he was able to break them. Now cut them down as they flee. Make sure they don't come back and then... Turn on to these pikemen. Could be dangerous for my general. But I'm hoping I would be able to break them. Oh, enemy cavalry is turning up. That's not good. Plus these... Oh, we, we were able to break them. Good. Continuously retreat. And the general chased that unit down, so that's not going to come back. One of our units has used all now I was trying to get my units back in order there. Or back to join our force. Oh, the swordmen are still there. March after, and I do still have my cavalry over here dealing with that. And this unit should march to the aid of the rest. And really, we're putting down a rally point towards this road. Let's make another line over here. The general is with you, and then I have troops marching here with the rest. Catalan militia. Now the swordmen are very tired, but we do have a possibility of striking at this line infantry unit right here. Plus the cavalry can make an attack towards the Catalan militia. And hopefully break them down. So clearly there was a bit of a mismatch. And also, that wasn't the greatest maneuvering on my part. Can you turn the guns around and fire on these? I don't think they can. Unfortunately, because the enemy has marched behind us, we're no longer in a position. Oh! forgot to actually tell these to attack. Let's strike quickly over here and then aid from both sides. Can we get some good volleys off on this unit? Right, my swordmen are actually kind of winning that fight. And they're going to be supported by some line infantry. Oh, I did! I did! Ab I was able to turn the guns. Right, this line infantry will attack here. And then the cavalry will come in from the back. We sandwich this line infantry. This is important to keep an eye on. Good volleys. Oh, you just ran out of bullets, did you? They still have some semblance of shot. Move behind them. Move the general. Oh yeah, forgot to throw in the cavalry over there. Now we are kind of able to fire at them over there. And then these three 
making making their way down here. Can we get can we get volley? I don't think we shot anyone in that. It wasn't a full volley though. Can I get all of you to actually go ahead and try and shoot that bastard? The big pike formation is probably what the big pike formations that are left is probably what I'm really worried about. Right, we managed to win there. Go after the cavalry. I don't think we'll be able to do anything against these. March that way and take the general with you. Okay, we're kind of losing over here. I'm going to order my cannons to fire straight into my own units here. Hopefully we'll be able to break some of them. The general is on his way to support. We got three units marching this way. And we got two units marching this way. And we'll see if we can make a final stand around here. I'm gonna withdraw my cavalry out of that. And we're gonna hope that our line infantry holds long enough for the cannon shots to absolutely destroy the enemy. Unfortunately they didn't they didn't hold long enough. Oh we got unit coming back. So really it's the um, pike formations. The Spanish pike formations still hold on. And right now I'm really scratching my head as how to deal with them. I mean when I'm able to get good cannon shot on them we are able to do massive amounts of damage. Right. Let's see if we can't maybe get some fire on them and just surround the units. I don't have any cavalry units left. I'm going to order the general to attack. We're going to try and hit this one. Um, I'm gonna try and coordinate all my units to come and attack this one from all around. The general should hopefully be able to break these. Looks like we might just be able to get some hits off on that. Right, you've broken that. Could you please fire? Good volley. Everyone, surround them. It's all going to be down to breaking the Spanish pikes. Um, well, the general certainly won't charge in. Come on, we did get some good hits in. Right, there's still blood and 130 of them. And then we've got another massive pike unit coming in. Now there's a risk of us shooting our own. A very high risk, I'd say. It look cool, but you know, one shot bouncing into my own troops is um, gonna break them more than they're gonna break the enemy. But I'm not gonna win any other way than to have the cannons break the enemy somehow.
we'll just have to put our uh, our fate with God. And the fact that I'm do and that I don't shoot down my general with my own cannons. Yeah, it looks like it's over really. There's not a lot we can do here against these pike formations. My troops can't do a lot. I can try and regroup them and try and get them in a better position where we can um, have the cannons destroy the pike formations. But it looks like I lost this one. The Spanish have concentrated their final troops right over here, making perfect targets for my cannons. We're gonna see if we can have a final fight here and break them and actually win this battle. You. Come on then, you bastards! This might be it. Let's see. Yes! Yes! They are broken! They've had enough! Victory! Victory for the Republic! And here's the result of that battle. We deployed almost exactly the same amount of troops. 2,860 on my side, while the Spanish deployed 2,992. Losses on our side at 2,245, leaving, what, 600-ish men left? While the Spanish lost 2,689, leaving about, what, 200? men left, so really fighting to the very end on both sides. When it comes to the Unix statistics though, that's going to be interesting to find out that the heavy swordmen were the ones to kill the most for my army. Surprisingly enough, given how important the demi cannons were, they, I mean, they killed a lot in the battle, as we can see, at 189 and 119. A lot better than the cannons in the last battle, but still not that good. And then we also have the carabiniers, killing a lot. New name unit. I'm that's the general actually. The general was the second, uh, the unit that killed the most. Um, now this is because a lot of it is because we charged down retreating units and attacking infantry units at the very end of the battle. And then first down here we can see one of the musket units. We can see the Governor's Guard Musketeers getting 100 kills. Followed by Line Infantry as 94, 89, 79 and so on. Medium Pikes did really poorly. They got destroyed. But I think you need to... Um, you need to prepare the movement of how they attack. You can't just throw them in, tell them to wheel quickly to either left or right. You need to properly prepare their attack, I think. Especially with weaker units like this. Heavy pikes. Quite surprised that they did so poorly. This unit lost almost everyone and only killed 56. And where's the other heavy pike unit? One of the heavy pike units did okay, but it was completely destroyed. Only 20 men survived. Not nearly as good as they were against the Ottomans, but then again, the Ottomans charged them with cavalry, which really that's their intended target to stand against cavalry. And then also light infantry that didn't really stand a chance to break the pike square. Um, even though they did at one point throw grenades at it, but still. Um, I still think that there could be a slight boost to the Musketeers. Because right now, it very much heavily favors the Pikes 
and the cavalry quite a lot. What you could do is... I'm not... Maybe you could do... That they're... You know, they, I think they need... I'm not entirely sure how to really balance it, but I think they need to be improved upon a little bit better. Because right now, I mean, my gunners shoot until they've lost all their ammo. And they, you know, it's barely that, you know, everyone managed to get a hit, basically, as we can see a lot of these units. And they're firing at quite close range as well. And not being able to score any hits. So it lends very heavily, or it leans very heavily towards the heavy, you know, infantry, the pikemen. And the cavalry. So I think that could be balanced a little bit. Now, obviously, at the time, um, it probably would have been leaning towards the cavalry and the heavy pike formations. And gunnery wasn't, at this point, as strong as it would later become. But still, just for the game's sake balance, because in a sort of meta game... Um, I'm not sure you would put take any musketeers for your army, given the kind of the the score they're able to uh, achieve here. But anyways, with all of that said, I think there's nothing more for me to say. So I'll say as I always say. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.
Vorsicht mit verdedigen! One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. 